This week we are joined by the lovely Sarah Game, who is a member of the Upper House in South Australia. It's really hard to get to the bottom of why this has been put forward. I mean, it's absolutely pointless. We've spent hundreds of millions of dollars. What does that fight look like? Because you guys are ahead of that already with a voice. You really have to vote no. We need to be putting money into tangible solutions. They're not really elected, are they? People are very concerned about the education of our children in schools. And Kids are looking for stability. Yes. And, and, and something that's as binary as sex is no longer stable. When know? did we agree that this is what we wanted in our schools? Maybe this is why anxiety and depression is at record highs. Yes. Most people are struggling just to survive. And they just don't have the time or energy to create a level of fight back. I've said enough. I've said enough. Love your work. These are the sorts of books that are, that are out there, guys. Here you go. Look at the queer chameleon. This is where our tax dollars are going. That just makes absolutely no sense. I mean, we it's see... confusing me. It's confusing. <laughs> exactly. Adults are confused all the time. We see adults come out confused about all sorts of things, don't we? Thank you so much. Thank God bless you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another conversation with Joel Jamal from Turning Point Australia. This week we are joined by the lovely Sarah Game, who is a member of the Upper House in South Australia. She's um, what we call a uh, member of the Legislative Council. On a state level, that's the Upper House, and in a federal level, that would be called a Senator. And Sarah is someone of immense knowledge. We've got an excellent uh, conversation uh, planned, scheduled. We're going to be talking about The Voice, we're going to be talking about South Australia and their treaty, we're going to be talking about some of the LGBTQ indoctrination in the schools, some of her work with mental health and plans for um, how we can help the family law court system. And I'm really looking forward to having a very candid discussion uh, and giving you a platform to, to, to get some of the One Nation policies out um, and, uh, and talk about how we can improve this country and bring some transparency. So welcome to the show. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming and making time. Um, one of the things I love about South Australia is the relationship that uh, you have with some of the good liberals, some of the poor liberals. You really don't care. You just call it out how you see it. And many liberals, they love that. Many liberals, you know, not a fan. But you're someone of conviction. Going to The Voice, One Nation was very early on to this, you know. I listened to Pauline Hanson at a Monarchist League event in Sydney and she called this out very early on. She did. Why is it that the, this, this proposal has been put forward from um, Anthony Albanese? Because as you know, there's a lot of more relevant issues going on. Yes. Um, cost of living, which we'll talk about later. But he decided to make this his priority. He said it in his victory speech. What's the go with that? 